Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in the beautiful Panjim city in Goa. I'm going to be showing you guys the viewpoints, the beaches, the churches, the everything possible. We are even going to go to the market. I'm going to show you a lot of incredible places which you can visit during the day here. So this is basically a half day tour itinerary over here. So let's go and check out these beautiful places here in Panjim city guys. Okay guys, so we are starting off our virtual tour of Panjim from this incredible place here which is called the Donna Paula Jetty and this, uh, the entry costs 50 rupees per person. I'm going to show you guys the Donna Paula statue and we are going to check out the viewpoint which is on top and this place you want to come here early morning so early morning in the sense you should be here by nine o'clock because you get an incredible view so right now if you see these people which are watching here there are blue dolphins uh, i think they're called blue dolphins but there are dolphins jumping in the water over there and you get this incredible view of this whole area this place is beautiful for photos uh, it's recently been renovated and we are going to be checking out the viewpoint right on top so let's go and check out the donna paula statue there and then we'll check out the viewpoint on top okay guys so now we are going to see the incredible statue of donna paula here which has been here for so many years so this is the famous Donna Paula statue. Of course, we are going to go up and check out the viewpoint as well. So this is the old statue. It's still the same. If you see, there are still broken pieces of the statue here. Of course, please never touch any of these pieces. This is part of history here. So this is the statue here. And there are some beautiful trees here, which you can click incredible photos. But what we are going to do now is let's go up to the viewpoint and show you the incredible view from here, guys. Okay guys, so we have made it to the top of the jetty now and I'm going to show you guys the view from here. So the view from here is absolutely incredible. You have a view of the whole 360 view all around here, but that side is against the light, so I can't really show you. Uh, there is water sports counters down below. I'm going to go there and show you guys the water sports prices as well from this area. But just to show you guys the view, the view is absolutely mesmerizing. So that side is vasco which is basically where the airport is this area here is the viewpoint so you can click some beautiful pictures here so if you see here you can click some incredible photos and then over here is this place which has an incredible view right at the end over there is the governor's palace of course you're not allowed to go to the governor's palace but yeah so just let me show you the view here this is a restaurant here which is called sea pebbles it's basically if you see the rock over there uh, it is right the restaurant is right inside the rock which is very nice i don't know about the food but that for the view it's absolutely incredible there's another a beautiful hotel here i put the name over here so this is the beautiful hotel that is there there's another beautiful rest, uh, hotel on the side of the, uh, that area there as well so i'll put both the names of the hotels here uh, yeah guys, so what we are going to do is now let's go and check out the water sports prices from here Okay guys, so this is the water sports counter. It opens a little later of course But I'm just going to show you guys the prices here So if you want to do water sports, you can also come in the evening and do water sports here This is jet ski ride is 400 rupees. The family boat is 2000 rupees five and below members five members can go in the boat parasailing is 1500 dolphin trip is 6000 for the full boat and island trip is 8000 rupees so this is the water sports which you can take from here in donna paula these are the boats here this is uh, a little behind this so the jet ski rides and everything start from here so you can take the jet ski from there and all the boating services are from here so anyway let's go and check out the next viewpoint on our itinerary Okay guys, so the next place on our list is the Mirama beach here, which is a beautiful beach uh, right next to Panjim city. So this is the uh, Mirama beach entrance. I'm just going to show you something else which you can do here. So over here you got Cremo. Cremo is basically a small little cafe kind of place where you can come and have your snacks or breakfast if you want and uh, there are also fast food play restaurants there and snack food basically. So if you want and to have your breakfast, you've not had your breakfast, you can come here. This is 
actually a very incredible place to come in the mornings and why i'm showing you guys to come in the morning my tour is a little opposite of all the other tours which brings you to the mirama beach last uh, part of Okay guys so just to show you how to get to the next place you just have to search Starbucks coffee or Taco Bell uh, on your basically your Google Maps and right opposite that is this road which is going towards the left from the Mirama beach here so what we are going to do is let me take you guys inside and show you guys the viewpoint here okay guys so after a 30 seconds ride from where we came i showed you the starbucks area was that's the starbucks area so this basically is this beautiful walking street kind of area here um, many people like refer this to kind of like the marine drive in mumbai so if you see here you have a beautiful stretch of a uh, walking area right across the mandovi river and not many people know about this so if you see here it's quite empty it's basically local fishermen that are here but this place is so beautiful uh, in the evenings you'll have a lot of people coming here uh, to do reels you know do videos dancing videos so if you see here you, there's a long stretch you can walk all the way to kala academy which is uh, this a uh, hall here which we have for arts and music and things like that and the view is very very beautiful so i'm just going to tell you guys uh, what what you can see from here so right over there is the agwada jail and you can see the agwada fort as well from here uh, right over there across the river is the reis magos fort which you can see in like a very distinct way here so this place is very nice if you want to click photos or do some videos or reels especially if you want to do some dance videos or something then this place is beautiful and yeah guys so you can go all the way up there and walk and see this incredible area guys so anyway let's move on to the next place now okay guys so next on our list is the famous panjim market so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys a little bit of the culture of the place so it's always nice to visit the market because you'll get you can have a milkshake over here there are like fruits vegetables and everything which you can get here you get a lot of local produce so if you see here these are filled with different fruits and vegetables uh that are available over here these are all seasonal items you will get a lot of local things also like goan vinegar which is uh something which you should really take these are uh, local you know vinegars things like this so you have exotic fruits in this area so i'm just showing you guys a view of the area around so if you see there's beautiful paintings on over here as well so on top you have a lot of electronic shops if you want to uh buy clothing as well you can buy clothing on top but now i'm going to take you to the other part of the market which is right uh, next door which is basically where the clothing and things like accessories and uh, more touristy things you can buy so just to show you guys uh, a little bit of the culture of goa and you know what the market looks like so anyway let's go on to the next road which is the market but also guys you can buy some sweets here these are like local sweets you will be able to buy see these are like the local local items here available in goa so yeah what we can do is let's walk to the market uh, where the clothing is just to show you where exactly we are so this is the big uh, main market uh, on top here sorry the camera is facing downwards but yeah just to show you guys this is the big uh, market complex here and we are going to go to the next street which is right over there so 
anyway now i'll just show you so there are shops all around in this market area for clothing and things like that so anyway let's go there and show you from there guys okay guys so just before we reach that side i just wanted to show you there are a lot of casual nut shops here there are bag shops so if you want to buy like caps or bags like that uh, for good rates you can buy them from here uh, most of these items are sold to locals so because they are being sold to locals the prices are quite cheap so anyway the market is in this area here unfortunately uh, most of the shops are closed because i'm shooting on a public holiday but i'll just show you uh, some of the this thing this actually shop has a lot of things for tourists so if you come here uh, during the uh, weekdays regular days you'll get a lot of items so these shops over here have a lot of things for tourists so these are clothes shops and of course uh, i'll just show you so if you want to buy like bags like these souvenirs these, these are like souvenir shop i'll just show you like so these are all souvenirs which you can buy these are like all keychains and things like the keychains ka price kya hai 30 rupees. 30 rupees so these are 30 rupees only so here you'll get a real bargain you know if you want to buy bags and things like that which these same things which are on the beach areas cost double the price so if you see all the see arambol beach magnets and all these type of magnets you can buy from here so there are like shops which you can get interesting interesting things here these are all for really really good prices guys so okay now that i have showed you guys a little bit of the market the market is very huge so you can explore completely here on your own but yeah as i'm showing you guys only the highlights so anyway let's go on to the next place and show you guys the next place guys Okay guys so next on our list is the famous 18 June road here in Panjim city this is a road which has a lot of shopping you get wine stores casual nut shops everything possible so i'm just going to show you here you can get a lot of accessories you can buy clothing this is my friend shop which is called jean shopy here they have a lot of uh, clothing basically if you go to the beach and you find a lot of these items so these people sell you all of the items but for really good prices just to show you inside here so you'll have shirts you'll have uh you know goa t-shirts everything possible and he has like all the different types of goa t-shirts but uh in like really cool designs as well they have the uh, you know bags which are trending also here so if you want to get it for good prices magnets everything possible you will get over here and here you have how you so this is a kajuna shop here which is called sg enterprises let me just show you so sg enterprises here this place has incredible kajuna nuts and if you want spices they have spices all types of spices over here they'll have all the bibinka which is the local uh, delicacies here you can buy everything the local local things here they have chocolates cashew chocolates all different different things here and they have all the varieties of cashew nuts and yeah all the masala ones everything everything what are the prices of cashew nuts starting 760 kg 760 kg starting okay okay so this is if you want you come and meet her very nice lady she'll help you with everything so they have dry fruits of other things also like pistachio and all raisins figs whatever you need for dry fruits you can buy from them okay bye see you so over here there are this is another nice shop actually it's closed today sadly but they have like cane craft so they make everything out of cane basically so uh lamps baskets all those kind of things uh if you come here you'll enjoy it then there is gujarat sweet nation basically this is like a gujarati uh store here this has been there for many many years but they have sweets snacks tea so if you want a snack here that's a good option to go to okay guys so anyway let's go to the next street of course this street is very big you can do a lot of shopping on this street here but let's go to the next street and show you guys what is available there okay guys so the next on our list is of course the panjim iconic church which is the mary immaculate church here in panjim this is absolutely incredible of course you should come here uh again around 11 11:30 when the sun is right up in the sky so you will get really good photos and yeah of course so the panjim church is here i'm just going to show you a few other things next to the panjim church which is the singbal's bookshop this is a very famous bookshop here 
This area here is absolutely incredible. You can walk around this whole area. There's a lot of shopping on this side of the road as well as on the right hand side of the road here. There's a beautiful shell shop here which you can buy a lot of like you know uh, shell items like uh, basically uh, let me just go there and show you. So you can get shell items. There's also a beautiful garden there which is the Panjim Municipal Garden. So this is the shell shop and they have all different different types of shells and accessories which you can buy here uh what are the prices this 1500 $1, for these small are 950 so this is 1500 there is 950 also so if you want some beautiful shells then you can come to this shop and you can meet her bye see you so yeah guys so just to show you something else which is quite nice in this area here uh so yeah the car is in my way but yeah let's walk across the road uh if you're looking for veg food in the city there's a restaurant which is right over there which is called kamat's restaurant uh which has very good veg food uh, right there and also then over here is a beautiful bar this is one of my favorite bars in the city panjim city which is called k bar so over here you, the, you see the hello sign it's right over here they open a, a little late uh, around 12 12 30 so this is k bar over here so if you see the here how beautiful is this so if you come here this is actually a place which you come should come in the evenings but i just wanted to show you you can also come in the afternoon they have beautiful snacks and things like that and this is like a really really cute place which not many people visit and you don't I mean not many tourists know about so if you see here this is the entrance inside and let's just take a sneak peek inside i don't know if you can see but it's a really really nice bar and you should definitely come and try their orak cocktails which they have here which is a local go and drink so yeah guys now let's move on to the next place so just again that is the beautiful panjim church here and we are going to go to the next place now okay guys so next on the list is this iconic area which is the Fontanes area here in Goa so this is basically where all the beautiful Portuguese houses are uh, situated and you have all these beautiful colored houses here we are going to just walk down the street a little bit and I'm going to show you this iconic bar which is called the Joseph bar this has been here for many many years so that's my friend Jolliton. he's running the bar this belonged to his family for generations and yeah we're going to go and check in the joseph bar here so this is joseph bar this is the local bar this is mr gundu the he's good 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 so he's the number one barman in goa he won many awards for barman of the year and everything so this is the little bar here it the vibe here it's a very rustic it just looks like some local place but it is very rustic this is a place where you can come and randomly make friends uh you know they have so many awards here <laughs> hi hi yeah i'll come and say hi one minute so, so one of our subscribers is outside i'm going to say hi so anyway so they have like beers they, they are famous for its cocktail over here which is called the tamade rosa uh they have like this seating area here i'm just showing you this is like small tables you come here you'll make a lot of friends with locals from different countries people from all over the world guys so just to show you we'll just walk around a little bit more one minute i'm coming back yeah so yeah so this is just the beautiful uh houses here you can get you know, i mean you'll get some beautiful photos but guys please never put your legs up on the walls which makes the properties dirty like this so keep you know respect the houses these are all private properties and if you see here it is absolutely incredible Hi, no photography yeah so this is beautiful here okay yeah okay guys so this is it guys so guys now that i showed you the place this is the viewer i was telling you who was standing uh, outside waiting to, for me so i always come and say hi to me whenever you are around so where are you from hyderabad hyderabad you watched a lot of my videos yes, yes. more than love your videos okay 
so so nice to meet viewers always guys so anyway nice meeting you yeah thank you sir yeah okay yeah okay guys so next on our list is this place which is confiteria 31st janario which is basically 31st january bakery which is there on the same street this is very close to the place which we came from which is the uh Fontanez area this is actually in the Fontanez area but just to show you guys this is a really beautiful bakery which has a lot of these if you see the tiles here you can click some incredible photos and they have all local local snacks here so just to show you guys the place here so this is the bakery and they have all the this thing francis how are you good so this is francis here this is a, a basically a wood fire oven they have all these kind of snacks they have i'll just show you this so th that's a uh, 90 plus 100 plus years i think it is uh, oven that is a wood fire oven here and this all these snacks are basically made from that oven guys so you have all the local goan snacks here prawn empanadas you'll have the biscuits everything possible and you have to definitely come here and try it out if you see the bakery inside it's i mean this is not a bakery this is the cafe part which is very very beautiful and they have beautiful uh, little paintings also here of all the iconic areas from here in goa so this is also something you should not miss on the list of places to visit here in panjim city guys this is the oldest bakery in panjim city which is making their own breads and everything guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do like and subscribe and I'll be bringing you guys lots of other videos from here in Goa.